Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 28th day of November 2021. The topic for our devotional today is a question. It asks, who is your real enemy? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this privilege to come before you again to learn at your feet. We thank you for teaching us your word daily, for building us up precept upon precept, line upon line. We ask, Lord, that you would open the eyes of our minds to something new today. Please reveal yourself as we study. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31. Romans 8 verse 31 reads, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 verse 31. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Psalm 35 from verse 1 to 7. Psalm 35 from verse 1 to 7 reads, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame, that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion, that devise my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause they have hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our Father and the Lord tells us in today's devotional that, Does your enemy have any legitimate claim against you? Are you sure your adversary does not have a genuine reason to attack you? These are questions you must answer before inviting God, the great ally, to come to your aid in the battle of life. Requesting divine intervention against your enemies will be counterproductive if you are the real enemy of yourself. How can one be an enemy of himself or herself? The answer is in today's memory verse. You can be against yourself when you break divine laws. And this has its consequences. An example is in Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 to 9. It reads, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithe and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Anyone who refuses to pay their tithes is robbing God. What are you doing that is taking you away from your maker? The one who is supposed to be your unfailing ally. You must answer this question before inviting God to be your ally so you wouldn't be inviting someone you have taken as an enemy. That would be the greatest irony of all. Many times, I have told my children that there is only one person who can be against us when God wants to be for us, and that is our very selves. The nobleman said to the unprofitable servant in Luke chapter 19 verse 22, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. We can also create enmity with the greatest ally when we abuse God's temple either by sexual immorality or indecent dressing. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 17 says, God will destroy anyone who destroys his temple. Your dressing can destroy another person and when that happens, you create enmity between yourself and God. Thus, there is no way God can come to your rescue in the time of adversity. This is why you must ensure that your friendship with God is not in doubt at any time. This is possible when you accept Jesus as your Lord and forsake all sinful habits. If you are already born again, continue to live holy. When you do, God will fight for you and humiliate your enemies in ways you could never have imagined. Beloved, I beseech you, do not be an enemy to yourself and ensure you are always on the side of God. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today is asking who is your real enemy. 
when asked this question, many of us would have the mindset that our enemy would be the devil, our enemy should be Satan, and we may not be wrong. But then, our Father in the Lord makes us understand in today's devotional that we have another enemy which we should really pay attention to, and that enemy is ourselves. Our memory verse for today asks us, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? The answer to that is absolutely no one. There is no one that can stand against us when we have God as our ally. But then, rearranging that question and turning it around, we can say, if God be not for us, everyone can be against us, including ourselves. We can become enemies of our very own selves. Our Father in the Lord in today's devotional makes us understand that we can become enemies of ourselves when we begin to break divine laws. You know, throughout scripture, we can find instructions that God has laid down for us. He has made known to us his divine laws and principles, his nature and his character. But when we intentionally decide to go against them, what that means now is that we are becoming rebellious. We are pitching ourselves against him and declaring him as our enemy. Scripture tells us in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31 that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. There is absolutely no man who has declared himself as an enemy of God who has won that fight before. I recall that our Father in the Lord would always say, if a man has a problem with his pastor, another pastor or maybe a senior pastor could intervene. When a man has a problem with a senior pastor, maybe the general overseer can intervene. And if you still go ahead to have a problem with the general overseer, probably God can intervene. But then, what happens when you have a problem with God? you'd be left alone to face the mighty one in battle. There is absolutely no chance of victory there for such a man. On the other hand, if God be for us, then no one can be against us. It is often said that one with God is the majority, and that is very true. So we must always strive to ensure that we are in partnership and alliance with him. That is where victory lies. Setting him up as an enemy would only be equal to working against oneself. You know, we just said down that one with God is majority. If you want to see it the other way around, one without God is not even the minority. It is less than that because scripture tells us that without him, we can do nothing. One without God is equal to nothing. There is nothing that we can do or achieve outside of him. Praise the Lord. We mentioned earlier that we can walk against ourselves when we break divine laws. Our Father in the Lord also tells us that we can create enmity with God who should be our greatest ally when we abuse his temple. We can abuse his temple by sexual immorality or indecent dressing. But that's not even all. We can also abuse this temple when we misuse it against his will. For example, by the kind of words that we speak, by the kind of things that we let our minds dwell upon, by the kind of things that come into our ears, including the kind of music that we listen to. When a man is working against himself and has set God as his enemy, making the mistake to call upon God in the time of trouble would be a recipe for disaster, as he would be calling down an enemy instead of an ally. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. That is why our Father in the Lord tells us today that we must always ensure that our friendship with God is not in doubt at any time. We must ensure to always carry out self-examination. We must carry out evaluation and even re-evaluation. Praise God. We would bow our heads now and cry to God and say, Father, in whatever way I may have been setting myself up as an enemy against you, Father, we ask that by your grace you'd have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Help us not to walk against ourselves. Help us not to be our own real enemies. Pray also for the grace to make him our greatest ally, to walk with him side by side all the way. Ask him that we would not be wise in our own eyes to our detriment. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your love for us. Thank you for teaching us today not to walk against our own selves. We ask Lord today that the grace for obedience be made available in Jesus' name. Help us never to take any step on our own without you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point today that says, Examine yourself and make sure the greatest ally is not only your God, but your friend also. And we receive the grace today to make him not just our God, but our friend as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. 
We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Amos chapter 5 down to chapter 9. Praise the Lord. We want to thank you for joining us today again. We believe that you have been blessed. If you love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. You can also be a blessing to someone today when you share this with them. As you go for today, receive the grace to walk with God. Have a blessed and refreshing Sunday ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.